When St. John Paul II visited the United States in 1995, he commented on how pleased he was that so many of the Catholic faithful attended Mass on Sunday. He encouraged us to develop family-style relationships centered around the study of the Sunday Mass readings as the primary means to help build a Catholic lifestyle that could transform American culture. Fast forward to today. Most American Catholics did not take the Pope's encouragement to heart, and the result now is that most of the teens of the 1990s have stopped attending Mass, and our once fuller parishes are aging and decreasing in size. Sometimes it's useful to recognize what we should have done so that we can stop bad practices but then focus on how we can correct our practices so that we can become what God our Father has planned for us. Revealed truth, scripture, is the primary basis for all we do as Catholics. Jesus' words to us need to form us. Thinking about how he instituted the sacraments as the means of grace to fulfill God's word to his people keeps us in His presence. We need to allow His words to penetrate our hearts so that we allow Jesus to renew our minds, transform the way we think about life, our attitudes toward our neighbor, purify the way we show love to our family, our fellow parishioners, our co-workers, and all those we meet during the course of the day. Allowing Scripture to form or reform our lifestyle will transform us like St. John Paul II hoped it would. But allowing the Gospels to change us, become holy, is only one of the calls on our lives as baptized Catholics. The other universal call is to become evangelists, people who can help others become holy too. Most Catholics do not feel adequately trained to share the gospel. This is a real issue, but one that is easily corrected with consistent effort. Here at St. Gregory's, we are encouraging every member of the parish to allow God the Father to speak to them through His Word, Jesus, by meditating on the Sunday readings all through the week prior to Mass on Sunday as a means to help you engage the scriptures and the prayers at Mass, I will be hosting a Tuesday night Bible study that will highlight the prayers for the coming Sunday, the three scripture readings and the psalm response. I will then have a daily meditation question for each reading available on the parish website. Wednesday for the first reading, Thursday for the psalm, Friday for the second reading, and Saturday for the Gospel. My hope is that those who participate and engage with this process will be gradually taught by God the Father as they apply the truths of Scripture to their daily life. Equally important though, this Tuesday night meeting from 620 to 725 will allow each of us an opportunity to invite a friend to a low-key event that could help them re-engage with their faith or establish a new faith in Jesus. Afterward, you could take them out for coffee and talk about what you heard. It's an easy way to share your faith and evangelize our world. I invite you to say yes to coming. Attend as many Tuesdays as you can and partner with the Holy Spirit by calmly, lovingly, inviting anyone God places on your heart. Together, we can slowly transform our culture, one life at a time. God bless you, and see you Tuesday nights.